Hey guys, and good Saturday afternoon here to you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday. Uh, just got back from doing a little shopping and a little groceries. So my family is doing Mother's Day early for me because we have something else planned for Sunday. So then I started sending out my friends Happy Mother's Day. And then it dawned on me, wait a minute. It's not Mother's Day, Tim, to them, but they were kind enough and thank you and you know who you are and family and things like that. Thank you for the happy Mother's Day back. It's cuckoo. It's cuckoo, Jay. Um, but still, an early happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy for the fathers who are doing the mother's work. If you know what I mean, happy Mother's Day to you. So today, I've got a, I'm have got going to do a twofer today, actually. Uh, I'm going to talk about Baron Trump. But also, someone wrote me and asked me, would I do a video on Kendrick Lamar and um, Drake? So if you don't know, there has been like a two-week battle between the two of them. If you love music and you love rap and you just... You want to know about the celebs. I got that coming up next. So please watch both of them. They'll be excellent. But let's talk about Baron right off the jump. So the reason I'm doing this is because we know that it was announced last week that Baron was going to be a Republican delegate for the state of Florida. You know, and it's like, mm, okay, well, it's, there's that part, okay. But then, but then... All of a sudden, Stormy Daniels gets on the stand and starts retelling in gory detail her shenanigans with Trump in the hotel room from what they did and positions and what it looked like. And you know what I mean by it and all that kind of stuff. Things that his wife would know are true. OK, things his wife would know are true. So now you have hum completely humiliated her. Because y'all private business about what she was doing when she had just either she was either pregnant or just given birth. Either way, um, you had a new child. OK. And you out here for the streets. Mm -hmm. And so they heard that they couldn't avoid it. It's all in the news. Listen, Baron is not a little boy. He turned 18 on March 20th. He's on the cusp of Pisces and Aries. And so he's got a lot of conflict, inner conflict. But I don't have his time. And I wasn't going to look at to do his whole chart for this. It doesn't take that to do it. However, once they heard about what was going on, Melania heard. Let me tell you. Melania is like, what? You have humiliated me in public with this. And that's the reason why I don't want to be a part of this campaign. That's the reason why when you took me out to some kind of dinner. I looked like I was tipsy or sedated or whatever. Sleepwalking into it. Mm -mm. Oh, now you're doing this. Okay. Well, payback is a mother. Payback is a mother. Okay. So she talks to Baron, who already knows. And I'm going to tell you about a son and a mother. A son is going to protect a mama, right or wrong, whatever. And a, a mother will protect her son t to the grave. I'm telling you, they be like this, mother and son. Don't try to come between it. Don't come to accept it. And be just like, okay, Miss So-and-so, I love your son. I love you too. Whether you do or you don't, <laughs> you're not going to break that up. And she's been raising him basically single-handedly. Of course, she's had professional help, nannies and stuff. Just don't be foolish. But at the same time, it was her. He don't even hardly know this child because his thing is wanting to be elsewhere. He was never meant to be a family man. He knows that. Okay? She knows that. But she wanted to be here. and She wanted a particular lifestyle. And this is a good way to, to hold him, you know? It's a good way to hold over somebody. It's one thing if you try to hold him and he don't have any money. Now y'all both in a struggle situation. But if he got money, you can keep that paycheck going even if you're not there anymore. So, I wanted to know, tell me about him. What did he think? Because what I think is, after they talked about the situation, he saw everything. She did not try to deny it. She tried to explain it the best she could and, and her feelings on it, keeping them private to him. Okay. She said, you know, what? we're going to get back. We're going to get the payback. 
I'm going to get my lick back. <laughs> and then she decides to pull out and say, you know, it came, it came out of Melania's office. Oh, we're sorry. Um, Barron won't be doing that. His schedule is too full and he will not be a Republican de delegate. Making Daddy Warbucks look like a fool. Mm -hmm. Humiliate him. That's how, you, that's how you get that payback, girl. That's how you get the payback. Anyways, let me have a drink of my beverage. I don't usually drink sodas, pops, as some of y'all call it. But I had a taste for a Sprite today. So looking at Baron, Baron is a number four life path. So he really is about right or wrong. That number four gives you Virgo energy, okay? They're about right or wrong, the perfections of everything, whether it be themselves, their environment, who they deal with. They're very particular on everything. And seeing his dad move the way he's moving, he got his nose turned up for that. He is mama's boy point blank and simple and ain't nothing wrong with that it's nothing wrong with that but he has his nose turned up she has shown him a lot in the way she moves um in a strict way in a let me follow all the rules and the re regulations you know because she was here on a tourist visa student visa and i guess she's finally official but um so she knows how to watch everything she does and everything she says and she's taught that to him as well so he's very structured and he's in a number four year so he's going to move this year in a very professional way when he goes to whatever college he's going to he's going to be really good at it this is the thing right here ma this is to melania if you're not melania you can switch off melania keep your eye on that boy okay He's on the cusp of Pisces and Aries. Pisces are living their own world, okay? Their own world. They're humorous. They're gentle spirits. Um, they are forgiving, but they have a sneaky nature to them where they will smile on your face and do stuff behind your back, okay? Watch out for that. And then he's got that Aries on that cusp. Um, he moves fast. He moves fast, fearlessly, might I add, okay, fearlessly. He'll move fast into anything. So I would tell you, watch him with the, the young ladies in college and with the way he deals with his money because it would not be a surprise to me, I'm just saying, Melania, if he moved kind of in the way that his daddy moves, quick and fast and sneaky and whatever, and don't get him mad because if you do, He's going to get his lick back like you do. So I would watch out for him. So when this opportunity presented itself for him, he was ready. He was jumping at it. That, 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 I'm telling you, right together, that mixture of that, that Aries Pisces energy had him want to do it. Let me do it. Let me do something revolutionary, something really different. Um, everyone would be so proud of me doing all of this. Now he brings the discussion to mom. Look, mom, look what they're offering me. And mom, you know, for what it's worth, I'm a human. I have empathy for people. She's going through enough. She's really going through emotional enough. Like, just please, child, don't bring me no more. I'm not trying to hear no more mess, no more drama. We ain't going to start this bullshit all over again with you. No. What you going to do is sit this one out. You're going to get yourself ready to go to school. You might do some traveling. I see for him as the opportunity to get do some traveling, maybe overseas or whatever. Maybe she'll take him back to her country, you know, just to, to whatever. Um, but I see him doing that, taking it easy. That's what she wants for him. She doesn't want him rushed into anything. She wants him prepared as any mother can be to go into this next phase of his life growing up. She wants him to be focused and be a top-notch student because she feels like, let me just say this about her. Her thing is money, okay? It's money and stability. His is money, her son, money and stability. That stability means everything to him. And having that, 
almighty mighty dollar so she wants him to study and do all that i'm gonna tell you why and a lot of mothers are like this she in time wants to be able to get away from daddy and he become the new daddy or be able to take care of her and him but she's gonna do what she can for him now she's holding on to him with a tight grip she doesn't want him negatively influenced by the crazy Trumpster. She knows they're crazy. She does. But she's keeping a hold on him and everything that he has. And no amount of sweet talk or nothing else. Not from him, you know, trying to talk her into it. Not from dad, not from the media, not from nobody. Is going to move her off her square when it comes to her son. Her feeling is my son's going to do what he wants to do. And I don't care. How excited he is because we've all had children with these brain storms of stupidity to rush out and do something and you trying to tell them better and, and you can see you're foresighted. You can see how this will go for you and then you tell them and they'll get out there and do it anyway. But he's not because right now she's got a hold of the money strings. Okay. College takes money. Not only that, it's living in your little apartment and keeping up with fashion and buying your books and having your food. and So she's got that hold on him right now and she's not letting up. Not at all. Don't matter what daddy say gonna happen. It's not. Because her feeling is the same thing as what we already know. You don't even know him. <laughs> no, he's not doing that. He's going to go and get his degree and get his education and be successful on his own and that's it and that's all so Baron, my son do what your mama said don't get out here with your foolish daddy i'm gonna tell you right now son slow your roll slow your roll okay because you got a big life coming ahead of you that's what you're destined for this big life but slow down because if you don't you'll find yourself in a having addictive behaviors whether it be to drugs, sex, rock and roll, whatever the case may be, and being too aggressive where you end up acting like him versus her. But anyways, that's barren for you. I wanted to let you know what happened with that situation. Stay tuned. I've got Kendrick Lamar and Drake feud coming up. Bye now.